Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from Indian Olympiad Qualifier in Mathematics or IOQM. This is from 2021. In this problem, we have a set of floor function and radical that apply to n. Basically, we first get the radical of n, then we apply the floor function. Then we get radical again, and then we get the floor function. And then we apply the last radical, and finally we get another floor function. We know that the answer is going to be 4, and we are looking for to find the value that we can have for n, basically the maximum possible value that we can have for n. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, Make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. Also, please subscribe to this channel and we will see you in 15 seconds. To solve this problem, let's start with using m for the whole expression that we have. Obviously m is going to be 4 here, but it's easier if we start with using m to denote the whole expression for now. Now we are going to remove the floor function that is in red here. Now remember, for a positive value of x, if floor of x is going to be n, then x is going to be greater than or equal to n and less than n plus 1. We are going to use it here. If we want to remove the floor function that we have here in red, then that expression inside the floor function is going to be between m and m plus 1. And it's going to be greater than or equal to m here. Now, SQRT of an expression is between m and m plus 1. To remove the SQRT root, we are going to get the square of both sides and then we will have the expression that you are seeing here. Basically, it's going to be between m squared and m plus 1 to the power of 2. Now we are going to remove the floor function that you are seeing here in red again. but before doing that, let's review something. The whole expression is between m squared and m plus 1 to the power of 2. We are interested to find the maximum possible value of n. So we are going to keep what we have on the right hand side of this inequality and then ignore what we have on the other side. Basically, we know that the expression is less than m plus 1 to the power of 2. 
So we can say that if we remove the floor function, it's going to be greater than m plus 1 to the power of 2 minus 1 and still less than m plus 1 to the power of 2. Note that here we have the equality for the lower bound. Now we are going to remove the SQRT root. To do this, we are going to take SQRT of both sides and then floor of radical n is going to be between power of 2 of m plus 1 to the power of 2 minus 1 and power of 2 of m plus 1 to the power of 2. Now we are going to continue. Remember what we did in the past. We are going to take the lower bound out and just keep the upper bound here. Floor of radical of n is less than m plus 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So we are going to say radical n is between power of 2 of m plus 1 to the power of 2 minus 1 and less than m plus 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And finally n is going to be m plus 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 to the power of 2 and less than m plus 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now that we know n is between two bounds, we are going to use it to find the final answer. Remember we wanted to find the maximum possible value that we can have for n. So we are going to just use the upper bound. We will first subtract 1 to be able to have the floor function that we had in the original shape of the problem and then that's going to be our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. This is the Security Channel. See you in the next video.